The Sponsored Saturday is brought to you by Lenovo. Lenovo has really leaned in to improving our me time. And because they're known for top computers and awesome tech, it makes sense that their Lenovo Tab Extreme is an amazing upgrade for ASMR enjoyers. There are quite a few reasons why I love it for ASMR. The screen is large, 14 and a half inches. This really contributes to the immersion and lets you enjoy all the details. Or take advantage of the split screen and double your relaxation. I love just chilling with ASMR on, so I'm ecstatic to have something that lets me see the content very well while also doing something else. The screen is TUV certified OLED with reduced blue light emission, anti-flickering, and low light tech so you can easily drift off when it's time to sleep and the kickstand is primo at providing your perfect angle no matter where you're hanging out. Now if you've never tried listening to ASMR out loud, try it with the Lenovo Tab Extreme. It comes with 8 JBL speakers and Dolby Atmos optimized sound. I can hear the ear to ear on this. If you'd like to give your ASMR me time an upgrade, go to lenovo.com slash tablets and check out their special holiday deals. Thank you, Lenovo, so much for sponsoring tonight's video. And thank you for watching. Why, hello. Look who it is. You missed our 3 a.m. appointment 11 months ago. I apologize, this was the next available booking time I had. I'm in very high demand, as you can imagine. Very, very high demand. Higher in demand than Dr. Natalie Poofman, I can assure you. Now, it might seem alarming that you haven't been treated by me in, well, almost a year's time. But to be treated by someone inferior would do irreparable damage that could not compare to simply waiting for my availability. So I applaud your patience. It tells me a great deal about you. Do you have your paperwork? Good. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Let's take a look here. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I see. Did you fill this out in the dark, perhaps? Don't be afraid of the light. There's nothing you can't handle. The world is simply ridiculous. Being intimidated is unnecessary. How are your symptoms been? Oh, you have symptoms, all right. Terrible, terrible symptoms. But fear not. I have the answers. Of course. Your mortal ailments are no match for modern breakthroughs and my unparalleled analytical prowess. Now, I must ask you some follow-up questions from our last I can only assume what's been going on up in that head of yours. And I shan't assume. I must know. It's the only way it will work. I must be familiar with every crevice of your wrinkly brain. <laughs> to lie to me is simply futile. These questions are all mandatory. Do you concede? Luckily, I will also be able to discern whether you are lying to yourself, so don't hurt yourself thinking too hard. All right, let's pull them up. What is your preferred ratio of chocolate chips to cookie in a chocolate chip cookie? I see. What is the last word that you input into an online thesaurus? And... What word did you ultimately end up choosing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ha 
hairless cats, hairless rats. What's next? Intriguing. How often do you find yourself thinking about dinosaurs? How many lemons does Lulu really need? Do you find yourself compelled to howl at the moon when under the ideal circumstances? Of course. Weiß ihr Nachbar, dass sie hier sind? Ja, sehr gut, okay. Does Blake lively live Blakely? Yes, dude. Who do you pick when playing Mario Kart? What about Mario Party? Hmm, no, I don't need to know about Mario Tennis. It's irrelevant. What singular insult would you use to decimate your enemies? Striking. Striking. Okay. Your answers neither surprise nor concern me. In fact, I had already pre-written your responses asking you them was simply informality. Now, next we have some somatic testing. Okay, here we are. What color is this? What color is the top of this right here? What, what is that? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Right. Take a look at these. How many pencils are there? How many? What makes you say that? Okay. I see. made out of what material? Really? Is that the no, that the answer you, you, you want to go with? That's that's the one. Okay. Alright. What sound is this making? What sound is that to your little ears? Would you like to reconsider that? Okay, all right.
What shape is this? What shape would you say that this is? And you would like to stand by that statement with no hesitation. Oh. I lied. That was purely psychological. I will never lie to you, except for what I do, in which case I will immediately disclose it to you. Proper communication and all. Now I want you to go ahead and do one more test for me. I want you to whisper a secret into this ear of truth. I won't listen, and that I am not lying to you about, nor am I lying to you and then will tell you that I'm lying afterwards. I'm truly not lying. I want you to whisper something into this ear of truth that you don't want me to know. Whisper it quietly, otherwise I will hear it by accident. And that won't be my fault. That'll be your fault for whispering too loudly. I won't look. I won't read your lips. I won't. I love reading lips. My favorite pastime, but I won't do it. Alright. Finally, we have a scale measurement evaluation. Now, I'm going to set up the scale here. And I'm going to let you know which scale we are going to be utilizing today. Okay. Alright, oh. This is a nice scale. We have from abhor to adore. Now, abhor, these are things that you absolutely loathe. Then we have hate, something you d detest, but not as much as loathe and abhor. Dislike, you are not a fan, you're not a fan at all. Neutral, things you genuinely have no feelings about one way or another like these things improve your state of being you enjoy them love highly coveted by you something you seek out you, you prefer to be in your life and then adore you are obsessed and you you cannot get enough you absolutely adore it okay so you got that correctly. Abhor, hate, dislike, neutral, like, love, adore. Okay. I'm going to list some things and you tell me where it stands on that scale of abhor to adore. Banana pudding. Okay. Sitting in the front row of a roller coaster. Vintage spoons. Shiba Inus. Don't ever think it. Okay. Origami. Mm-hmm. Blue mascara. The Oxford comma. The given name, Bartholomew. How do you feel about that? How does that affect your life? Okay. Good. Comic Sans. about Dyson Airblade hand dryers. All right. The beach. Barley tea. Nice hot cup of 
barley tea. Okay, it's under fried iced. A rousing game of darts. Rousing. Yes, okay. Bogo sales. Buy one, get one. No familiar? Okay. And the great beyond. All right, let me calculate the scale. And I do believe I have everything that I need. A perfectly complete summary of your inner workings as of this moment in time. Now this information will be used to enhance your life, improve upon your shortcomings. You will need to partake in my strict regimented protocol if you want to see results in one to two years. I will type up a document, print it out, and bind it in leather for your approval. However, I have breached my daily limit of printer ink at the local library, so I will have to circle back with that. Well, you are free to go. Please reach out with any concerns or changing behavior, and if your behavior changes related to you not knowing that your behavior has changed, so that you could not know to report such a behavior change to me, please let me know that too. Now, I must be off. Oh yes, to meet with a mind wrestler who's offered me lifetime complimentary sessions since I solved his debilitating mommy issues. Okay. Until next time, then. Thank you so much for relaxing with me. If you are not a YouTube Premium member, remember to turn down your volume or turn off your device now to avoid potential post-video ads. Sleep well.